You likely see a pair every day in someone's ears, white wireless earbuds. And according to Bloomberg, Apple AirPod sales exceeded $18 billion since 2021. And while they come in pairs, you might notice that one of them dies quicker than the other. KXN's senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson spoke with one UT researcher who wanted to know why that happens. I go through AirPods so much that I wear down the batteries. This is probably my 20th pair, literally, like no hyperbole. It's not an uncommon issue. Usually one will be a little bit off. I don't know if I'm going deaf or if it's the AirPods. AirPods, dying, and not always at the same time. I wear only the right hand side, and over time, the right hand side start to complain about low battery all the time. It's a problem that associate professor Ejin Liu and his class needed to solve. I told my student that this is your opportunity. Liu figured the best method, buy a bunch of AirPods off of eBay, then x-ray them. Using non-destructive tools like ultrasound, like x-rays, is a very powerful start. So when we do tear it down for the uh, further analysis, we know where to look. Liu's lab is focused on exploring engineering through x-rays. They powered the devices up and then with the assistance of an infrared camera, discovered it's a printed circuit, several of them here, and those things actually generate the sun heat over there. Making the top of the battery hotter than the bottom, causing it to degrade when it's used. Which is one of the reasons your AirPod batteries quit working. And it's not just your AirPods. A similar microenvironment occurs inside your phone, and it might be causing battery power to decrease over time. Well, if you think about even larger systems like electric vehicles or household energy storage systems, is even larger, involving more batteries, the complexity is even higher. While batteries are studied under different temperatures in the lab, those experiments are done in ovens with evenly graded temperature. The next step for the researchers is to take the work they're doing inside the lab and bring it to manufacturers around the world. In Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News.